a bed table for eight people. <laughs> no recess the dream. Can you please? Macy and I are going on a Target run. This is what it sounded like I cheated those. This is um, blush blindness, but like I want to look sunburned. I so have everything okay. blindness. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I look like, but I don't. We're gonna go get skinny dipped at Target. Perfect for me. Woo! Okay, candy aisle we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Does that can't do though. Okay, here's what we got. We'll do a haul soon. Target haul. We got skinny dipped, and I'm currently texting my old coworker, also my manager. Yeah, your old man, your manager, um, about how I used to hijack all of the lemon skinny dipped in the office. Like, I'm sad they didn't have the lemon ones because they taste exactly like a lemon poppy seed muffin. So You're if you guys so do the lemon, take them because they're insane. Which ones are those? These are the dark. Wait, these are so good. Peanut butter. These are my favorite ones. Actually. Oh, you chew it. so you, good. You chew it right away. I like kind of let it marinate. Macy, one thing about Macy <laughs> is that she's never gonna have just a plain normal menu order ever, or even the way that she consumes the food. We really gotta suck off the coating. We am still enjoying it. These are in the candy aisle. They're so good. Since I went grocery shopping with her, she let me get a treat. These are the dark chocolate salted caramel bites. These are like better for you snacks. They're really good. They have plant protein. They're made with lower sugar. They're non-GMO, kosher, gluten-free, made without artificial colors, flavors, and sweeteners. Oh, this one's so good. That's fire. This is literally, oh my God. They're really good. like ASMR. <laughs> That is unbelievable. That's so good. Wait, wait. Tell me where else you can find only two grams of sugar. Wait, how do they do that? Wait, can I just say, like, as the non-sponsored girl, mm -hmm. there's no palm oil, which is huge because so many brands will be like, oh, because a lot of peanut butter brands will be like, oh no, hydrogenated oils, but then they'll put palm oil in, which is worse. But it's like a littler word, so people don't think it's bad. Palm oil is so bad for you. Wow. And it makes me mad because like. Sorry, other brands have it, and like they pretend to be all natural, and it's like palm oil is just lying. as bad as like. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Skinny Dip is so good. This is the number one. You need to get these. You guys are about to watch Macy and I's week one week of summer. It was going to be one week, then it turned to six days, then it turned to five days. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's really going to be something. You do like the summer. I turned pretty. Like it was like June. Didn't, yeah. Nothing. Okay. Let's hear it. Here. Just oh. just off the cuff. Okay. I was thinking. For me, it was like other seasons didn't matter. July 2nd through 7th was where it was all about. Yes. It was the one week we could be anything, yes. do anything, become anything. Summer for <laughs> us was just a week. Five days now. Five days where you could just be yourself, find uh, yourself. I'm trying to be belly and it's so hard. <laughs> the bad thing there's no summer I turn pretty right now. I hate Sick. Like I'm not pretty. Let me have. Hi y'all, welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be Macy and I's one week of summer, if y'all don't know. Macy is my best friend and she is going to New York for six weeks this summer. Basically, these are the only six days we have together this summer at home. So we're cramming everything into one week. I just flew home this morning from St. Louis. I worked out, I went in the sauna, I went to the grocery store, and now I'm about to cook some dinner. I'm making the Carol King salad. This is the best. I don't mind my spray tan right now. I'm making the Carol King salad. This is the best salad ever. It's on my Instagram too, if it's easier access later. The recipe journal, by the way, how cute. Anyways, we're gonna make my favorite salad dressing. I'm in charge of dinner tonight. My mom is in charge of dinner. <laughs> if y'all are new here, subscribe. I miss a lot of like lifestyle vlogs. I 
thing ever. And this is also linked on my Amazon storefront. It's so convenient when you're making your salad dressing. <laughs> No, this is my neighbor was a producer and Napa baby. And when I turned 18, I got five hundred dollars. Oh my god. No. We're watching Macy's My Little Pony commercial. There and she the is. Orange. Wow. Oh, you got it down. Yeah, it's easy. It comes back just so naturally. It's easy when you're a star. Totally. She just got yeah, it. I learned it late and I still got it. <laughs> Mushrooms that help your body respond to stress, anxiety, fatigue, and overall well being. Can you get this big mushrooms? Is this the one that you're taking? No, that one's blue. We're all hanging red. Oh, okay. You yeah. can take adaptogens. Do you think this is like a. Do you think this is like an orange wine? Or do you. I think this is like red wine dupe, right? Yeah. Which I don't know if I'd like. I don't either because I don't want a red wine girl. Me neither. Adaptogens bring your body back to a steady balance by managing both physical and mental stressors. Guys, why have we not been adapted to doing it every day? No, I know. No, I, I know. think some people do. Wait, do people drink this like in the morning? No, but people, <laughs> but people like microdose shrooms. Yeah, oh, is that what we're doing? Are we microdosing? Are we microdosing? Adaptation. Guys, why haven't we been doing I'm so mad that this has been sitting in my pantry. No. If I were to drink an entire bottle, like how happy would I be? Let's try it. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, the girls just left. We're actually only an hour into Eat, Pray, Love. Turns out it's a two and a half hour movie and we were talking, so I need to finish it. Update on if I feel like it aligns with my Eat, Pray, Love summer that I keep telling everyone that I'm having. So far, so good. The, the only thing is that I don't want to do solo travel. I want to do group travel. Like, I don't want to do it myself. So my whole Eat, Pray, Love summer, I have some guests, you know? But it's been a good day. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> morning y'all my face feels so puffy I actually stayed up late reading last night which is such a good feeling besides you know the next morning I finished Emily Henry's new book I stopped reading it fully and I gave it a break for like a month or two and then someone told me to finish it I went back and I'm glad I did I am just not an Emily Henry girl I think I loved Beach Read and then I loved Meet Me at the Lake is that what it's called or no not Meet Me at the Lake that's Carly Fortune uh, why are these they're literally there's 20 words and we just mix them up for every book title happy place But the other three I haven't loved this one. I liked better than people we meet on vacation and The other one I hated that one. So, um, I finished that last night It was good like three and a half stars book reviews on Katie book club and then I started I don't know if I pre-ordered this and it shut up my iPod my iPad on my Kindle or what, but Emily Giffen has a new book out. I love Emily Giffen, so I'm reading that. It was really good. So it's like 8.30, I have a meeting at nine, and then after that I'm gonna go on a run. We're having a cold front this week, AKA the high is like 90. Um, so I'm able to run a little bit later, which is good, because I would not have made my run this morning. I was just so tired. I don't know how to pronounce the brand, so. Desoy, I don't know. I love their canned drinks, they're so good. We tried these last night, they have adaptogens in them, which I didn't even really realize how much adaptogen studio but Tabby was drinking this and she's like, I feel drunk, but like happy drunk. And then I started drinking it, it just puts you in the best mood ever. Like I need adaptogenic wine, like non-alcoholic wine every single night. It was amazing, like so good. And you get the vibe of having wine, but you don't have to like actually drink. And like, I don't know, wine doesn't always make you feel amazing. Like it has to be like for something, not like on a weeknight. Listen y'all, speaking of summer, it is hot, okay? And thank God, because fortunately, Lumi Whole Body Deodorant, so now I'm hopping on a call. 
Um, this is a finance meeting for a friend of mine. So fun. And I have more finance meetings. This is the worst part about owning a business. I actually love who I work with for finances. I just, this is not my, not my cup of tea. Hey, Kenzie. Hi, how are you? There is something about my lamps being on in my entryway that just makes this house feel like a home. Ignore my hair. Honestly, we're putting it in braids in a hat after this run. I can't deal. I need y'all to see this set. It's from Buff Bunny and I cannot rave enough about it. First off, it's an amazing set for running. These shorts, I'm not kidding, they do not move in your workout. Like I feel like in all of my workouts, I spend half of my time like even just walking, like moving my shorts around, like pulling them down, whatever it is, you know, biker shorts, they ride up. Oh my God, I'm getting the tingly feeling for my pre-workout. Um, and they don't move. Like I went on a very long run and it didn't move once. The sports bra, so supportive, so soft, so comfortable, so flattering. I don't think I have a Buff Bunny code. I'm new to Buff Bunny. This is like my first, I got like two other things from them and this is like my first order. Love. I seriously cannot recommend it enough. This set is amazing. It's so flattering. The shorts do not budge. They do not move. Oh my God, I'm like really tingly. Uh, okay. Anyways, we're off for our run. How exciting. I'm having a great summer week because it's only 80 degrees. That's what happens when the weather is nice. Guys, 73, 76 degrees at 10 a.m. That does not happen here. Starting a new 10K running plan today. I'm really just on the road to this half marathon. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually interested in half marathon right now. I can barely run four miles. My goal by the end of the summer is a 10K, which I think is very doable, but we'll see. All right, y'all, I ran my fastest time today, a 10 minute mile, which may not be much for you, but in the heat, it's really good for me. I mean, it was literally just 80 degrees and I ran a lot faster. I've been running in like 95 degree heat. So realistically, I think I probably went like faster than that, but who cares? Progress is progress. I'm very proud of myself. I'm gonna sauna. I have a meeting in, 50 minutes, I'm gonna sauna a little bit and then just put my swimsuit on, overalls and a hat, take my meetings, go to the pool, take my meetings, work for the pool, take my meetings, work for the pool. That is the summer vibe. And then around 5 p.m., Macy and Tabby are coming back over and we're gonna have a summer night. Also, like, I'm kind of into the headband vibe. Like, I'm a sunglasses on. Doesn't look the best, but it feels amazing. Here's my really serious work from home outfit. Got my swimsuit on underneath. This is a new Wrangler Stodd collab. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. It's very cute, I love an overall vibe. lunch break just pick some flowers from the garden for a floral arrangement sure some of them are dead I've been out of town okay they're pretty much all dead besides a couple okay so this is the most hideous arrangement I've ever made I was trying to go for I don't know just minimal effort I like when things are really messy and all over the place. This is just, you know, the flowers are dead. So uh, I did what I could. I'm just gonna say it's art, it's abstract, you know? Cut it a little bit. Listen, we're just gonna go with this is abstract. showered I washed my hair I kind of blew it out I'm gonna use the sleepy tie tonight 
to hopefully give me a little blowout. I feel like my hair just looks so dry. Also, y'all, I've been thinking I might want to start going a little bit darker. My hair naturally is very dirty blonde. It's obviously gotten darker as I've gotten older. Like, my roots look really dark. And part of me is just thinking, like, maybe I don't go as blonde. And it's just... A little bit like warmer brunette think like Jennifer Aniston friends I don't know like what what do we think I'm drinking my lemonade today is just such a good summer day reading midday really gave me the energy that I needed I laid in the pool I read for like an hour it just felt amazing and then I left and I had more energy I feel like in the summer I mean granted the weather isn't bad right now but like normally I'm just so exhausted all the time and I'm just miserable but that was great maybe I am a summer girl first things first this fell on the ground I got this long chomp bag from the real real it was really inexpensive I just thought it was so cute really fun bag this would probably even hold this camera and this camera is pretty large or a g7x which I can't find my g7x's anywhere I need to figure that out this week but I thought it was really cute and I want to add like when I see on tiktok everyone's like adding things to their bags like little beads and stuff um i definitely want to do that so i can't wait to style this i'm very excited and then i got two new pairs of shoes sam edelman of course all i wear are sam edelman shoes like majority of this stuff back here sam edelman okay these are gonna be controversial i know i'm gonna look back at these one day and think they're so ugly but i for some reason i just think they're so cute look i almost want to put them on right now I won't but I think they're really cute and I'm excited to go to LA next week because I'll actually wear real outfits versus when I'm home in the summer I'm in like swimsuits and workout clothes and stuff but I just think these are so cute and I know that's gonna be an unpopular opinion like I know y'all are gonna think they're ugly but honestly guys I just I love it like I don't know what you want me to do I don't know what you want me to say I'm sorry and then I got these shoes because I wear these shoes all the time. I've been wearing these nonstop. They're giving like Sophia Richie. They're Sam Elliman. I got the same shoes in a different color. They didn't have a ton of colorways of this. I probably would have gotten a different one, but this is what they had. And I just love these. They're so classic. They are kind of grandma, but like they're very classic chic. I think they're just the best shoes ever. Again, I'm such a Sam Edelman girl, guys. Like, I need to do an entire Sam Edelman tour because even majority of my shoes, just in general, if they're not Tacovas, they're Sam Edelman. Something about even this together, I love. I'm still loving all of my jewelry that I got from SC Collection. It's just been my favorite lately. I got a package from Free People, actually. <laughs> it's hanging up over here. This is what I think I'm gonna wear to LA next summer, not next summer, next week. First thing I got, this is this matching set. So it's a skirt and then this top, the top is backless. Really cute. I just love a good matching set. This one, look, I haven't tried it on yet. Could be horrible, but it could also be cute. I wish it wasn't green. On the model, it was cute. The problem with free people is that it runs large, so I think I maybe should have sized down in this. No, I got a small. Even this is a small. Okay, this is a size down already. So maybe it will just fit well, but I don't know. Like, you have to get the vision and the vibe. This is just a really classic, beautiful, white long dress. I loved this online. Great with a tan. I love a good long dress. I've been loving Reformation lately and Abercrombie. Those are my favorites. This is really like a wholesome fit. These shorts, okay, just basic shorts, and this top. It's giving wholesome. It's giving grandma. It's giving let me tend to my garden and my chickens, you know? So I love that. This tank top, I feel like a lot of people have these tanks I just thought it would be like a good, nice basic to have. This set, which I think, I don't know how I'm going to like it. They're micro shorts. I'm not really like a micro short girly. And these didn't fit. Like they're a little baggy. But they sold them in a set. So I got a set, a size medium. So size down. Um, They're cute. Here's the thing. Then you wear, okay, so I pictured this. 
like girls night out in LA with like black kitten heels I think that's fun these like it's cute you know so we'll see how I feel about this fit when I'm in LA I don't know I think it's really cute I do want to wear it I got this top from Abercrombie I got a couple things sent from them but I've worn them already it's just like a red knit top I thought this would be really cute if I have another like East Coast moment where it's a little bit chillier out even like with the jewelry that I'm wearing I like and that's pretty much all of the new stuff on here I did order some things from Park recently and I really like them I got these shorts I had them air dry today and I like them I'm really picky with shorts really cute these shorts are actually also Park and I got the large I should have sized down I have more stuff to go through in my closet. Oh, wait, actually, speaking of new shoes, Jeffrey Campbell, these are from Free People, so I just got them. They're these little red satin ballet flats. Like, is that not so cute? I, but I just cannot wait to wear these. I think they're so cute. So, eventually this week, I'll get to cleaning up my closet a little bit, but not today. Turns out, guys, by the way, Mason's actually leaving a day earlier than we thought, so it's really only like five days of summer. Tonight, we're having a cute summer night in. We're listening to Taylor Swift, and we're having a great chat. Maybe we oh, should yeah. bring the chat to the vlog. Yeah, maybe we should. Okay, um, well, we need to ask... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me adjusting the camera the it's, entire it's, vlog. I do that because I'm not trying no. to, like, throw you on no. camera, not because hey. I'm trying to put you at a bad no. angle. I get it, Okay. but okay. throw me on camera. Uh, Tabby just eating and not wanting colors is crazy. Like, imagine saying that. Imagine saying, no, I don't want a cheeseburger. Like we said, we're getting cheeseburgers. I like, literally told her we were getting food. She goes, she goes, no, I just ate. That's Actually, one way to lose a friendship. Well, yeah, but you were supposed to cook dinner earlier, so yeah. maybe she just like, thought she would well, guys, really doing that. I was going to cook us hamburger bowls, and I was like, but how good would an actual hamburger be? Yeah, what if we went to Keller's? So Keller's is this, like, drive-in burger place in Dallas that's very famous. Somehow we've never been. So we just don't know if we're supposed to walk in to order or if we're... So should we Google this? Wait, really quick. We're going to just get a little lay of the land. I'm just going to drive up really slowly and see... This is how lazy we are that we would rather drive maybe 20 yards yeah. than um, get up and walk. Make sure that you're kind of peeking into other people's cars as well, yeah, seeing what they're doing. Oh, maybe we just go up and order. Yeah, that's what I... Wait, what did you think I... I, I don't know, but everyone was saying, oh, like, do you drive up here? Well, I think I that you walk like, up and get Okay, the, I just had like a Sonic in mind. Looks really cheap too, $5 burger. In this economy. <laughs> That's crazy. Keller's has not heard of inflation. Mm -hmm. Guys, let's just reenact. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what I just knew, happened? I knew, what's the lighting? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Um, I knew there was like something where they came up and took your order because it's drive-in. Like I was like, picturing a Sonic vibe. So we started to walk in, the lady stopped us. She's like, oh, you can stay, we got it. It's really comforting. She so was we, so, she was like, baby, what you want? Yeah. Did you want to try your Oreo Sour Patch that you got? I don't know if it'll ruin my appetite. I think this has the, the ability to do that, yeah. Yeah. Wait, do okay, let's wait. Oh, they definitely we do. Add. We can also, Oh, yeah. they do have shakes. Okay, we'll add. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to add. I need shake and fries. Fine. Oh, gotta go. Hello. Tabby's arrived. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Tabby got a gift for us. <laughs> I love it. Oh. See, it's a community gift. No. I actually, this was a gift to Macy, and when she was out of town, I did some unboxing of your gift. <laughs> oh, PR. <laughs> it was actually Macy's PR. <laughs> yeah, this is so exciting. Oh. Know, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love her. I love her so much. Wow. Tabby, okay, she says hi. Yeah. yeah. That looks so good. Should we order another one? That's the real deal. Yeah, should we order two? We've already made like seven orders here, so if we can we've make another. Made seven. Okay, I can't. We've made a full of I can't focus while I'm being stared at by all these people. I know, it's scary. <laughs> I know. What is that? Is that normal here? Can they see me through your tinted windows? Yeah. Probably. Oh. Okay, I'll stop staring. Okay. I don't know how I feel about these guys. Yeah, they're... They're fries. No, they're good. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> they're good. Yeah. It's got double cheeseburgers. Seated bun. Uh, I don't want to make a mess. Okay. No, Macy, that's fine. Look at our burgers. I don't want to, but she will. Yeah. With a burger like this, that's so messy. 
Yeah, these people are literally like not even being obvious about. Staring. Do you think that they're staring at us because we're filming ourselves? No, I think they're just staring to stare. Here we are, like, oh my god, we're so stunning and beautiful. They're staring at us, and it's literally because we're filming ourselves. No, I know. <laughs> okay. It's so good. It's fine. I love that. I can't stop staring back at them. <laughs> I'm gonna go here all the time. All the girls in the back are staring. I feel like we're like animals in a zoo. <laughs> Should we start barking? This probably happens to you a lot, being Macy Thompson. No, it does. What would you do if they actually came out? They're like, Macy, we love your TikToks. <laughs> oh, Wait, like, maybe it's me. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did blow up. So. Tommy recently had a TikTok go viral. I ma I gained like maybe nine followers, so it totally could be me. No, it probably is. <laughs> Wait, this is like so good. It's fire. No wonder this is such a Dallas staple. Mm. It's really good. That's fire. Guys, we are doing an adaptogen walk. This is not an alcoholic wine, in case anyone was worried, but it makes you really happy. Raw red solo cups. Do you think we're gonna get pulled over with our non alcoholic wine? I hope. I hope we do, and we can tell everybody about adaptogens. No, like, I Stop. am like texting. Let, like, let texting us tell you about adaptogens. <laughs> we just Let's discovered what adaptogens, adaptogens were like yesterday. I'm gonna start my strava. Do you think I'm gonna meet like the yogi from Eat Pray Love? I, I need already like a, found you one. Oh, yeah, I need like a two week fling with a yogi, <laughs> and then I'll meet my husband. That actually works pretty well with my schedule. I like that. Summer reflecting on life. Does anyone have any life reflections that just come to mind? My life reflections are I'm really glad that we discovered adaptogens this week. Mm -hmm. That's been really, really, I feel like key and pivotal for our summer. Yeah. We're gonna start doing at least weekly adaptogen walks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be thinking of you. Can sure. you have adaptogens in the morning or is that against the Yeah, I was like, thinking about like that coffees with like adaptogens. Like the four somatic, that's what four somatic is. So I guess I've actually been taking adaptogens forever because I used to love recess and haven't drank it yeah. forever. Yeah. I <laughs> literally thought you were talking about, about like elementary school. Like I used to love recess. <laughs> no, recess the drinks. I don't know. And those are adaptogens. This is the strongest. I thought it was like thing. hemp or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, my reflections are that I'm gonna miss um, wide open spaces for six weeks. Yeah. I like how we're acting like it's like forever. Yeah. It is. It kind of is. I'm going away forever. Think about how fast months go by. Like you blink and it's a new month. Like mm -hmm. I'm just switching it up for a month. Yeah, well, also, we're going to London for, like, one of those weeks, so. Yeah. My bank account can't sit that far, though. So. <laughs> totally. <laughs> if, if I could just yeah keep that to myself. Yeah. I'm so sorry. No worries. That's how my bank account feels. It was, like, <laughs> seven flights. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't want her bank account to hear. <laughs> she doesn't want the, your bank account to start talking shit. I didn't even take into account, like, cost of living in New York. Like, I'm going to be, like, I'm going to get my nails off, so I don't have to get my nails done there. Yeah. You're going to be fine, Missy. Maybe I'll do one last point here. I need to say bye to Joe. Maybe bye. Maybe like gel. Like, I, I don't know. Or, or like press-ons. Press yeah, press-ons. Yeah. I just can't imagine Especially you without nails. Me neither. I'll do press-ons. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. Yeah. The cure so for the air condition. No, you have to sit there if you want to be. <gasps> Cute. Okay, guys. It's been about one year since... Our infamous prank calls, and we're not gonna prank call boys anymore because we first learned our lesson. We don't have any boys to prank call. <gasps> well, we didn't then either, to be fair. Yeah, we had other friends. No. If y'all haven't listened to the J Name episode on House Guest Podcast, the best podcast ever, I will link it. And you guys can go actually go watch it. I get so many DMs about that. I'm like, damn, do I need to exploit more, more of my like insane stories? Yeah. That one was just so good because it was start to finish. It's like the craziest thing that's ever happened. ETA 330, like, if you know, you know. ETA 330. Insane. Yeah. Okay, so are we calling Carbone New York? Yeah, so I had this idea because this one, like, I saw this one celebrity reservationist um, <laughs> on Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, like, that's insane that that's someone's job, like, celebrity reservationist. Like, he calls, and he's probably like, it's for Kendall Jenner. Like, that's someone's occupation. So I thought I should do it and say it's for Macy Thompson. <laughs> 
she's gonna be like, wait, if once they reject her, she's gonna ask for the most insane reservation. Oh my god, my like cargo yeah. for two at Carbo 7 in New PM. York. In New York. <laughs> I mean, even in Dallas, you couldn't get that. And then she's gonna come back and be like, oh, but. Wait, it's, it's for Macy Thompson? I Actually, wish we were doing this on like Thursday, so it was like. Dang. Why am I already embarrassed? Tabby, do you wanna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. They don't have a phone number? Stop. Okay, what's another like nice restaurant? No, Malibu. Call back between the hours of 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's online. Wait, so they're not open? Okay, what about what's her reservations? No, boo. Oh, uh, Catch. Is that hard to get reservations? Yes. Or what about like. Should we do Catch Steak in New York? If you wish to like a boy Thank you, and look forward to having That's you That's so annoying. Thing. Gucci, no, don't do the Dallas one. Thank you for calling John and Minnie Fairfax. We are open for take reservations. Please press 1. Reservations. <laughs> <Okay, no. laughs> 2 p.m. Friday night and 7. 2 p.m. Sorry, 7 p.m. For two people. No, eight In people. back corner. Yeah. Hi, thanks for calling John and Minnie Fairfax. This is Ruby. How can I help you? Hey, Ruby. This is Ashley. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm trying to make a reservation for next Saturday for eight people. Um, it's actually for Macy Thompson, so was hoping we could get that back corner table. Um, sorry, could you could you say that one more time? Yes, we're looking for we're trying to get that back corner table for eight people. Okay, yeah. Um, we do have like a spot where I guess yeah, you could consider the back corner. Um, and put eight people there. Um, you're saying when, when is it that you're trying to make this reservation? I'm trying to do next Saturday, so, or I guess this Saturday, actually. Next July Saturday the 20th? The 13th, actually, this Saturday. Okay, the 13th. Let me see what I have at the moment. Okay. Yeah, it's actually for my boss, Macy Thompson. Okay, um, what time are you guys going to come in? Like 7 o'clock. Okay, I can do that for you. I just need to put a credit card on file. There is a cancellation due if there's less than 24 hours notice. Um, on the site by your office. Okay, perfect. Well, let me go ahead and confirm with her. And um, she's actually bringing her uncle George Clooney. So let me go ahead and double check with him, make sure he's free, and um, I'll call back and book it. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Okay, thanks, Ruby. Have a great night. Love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> How do they have that reservation? <laughs> they don't, I'm telling you, that's the deposit, they just they believed you. And also, by the way, Fairfax, like, that back table doesn't really fit eight. Like, they're gonna move some stuff, like, <laughs> bringing here. She was so nice. Point. Okay, should we... We love you, Ruby. <laughs> we need to do one where it's, like, really obvious that, like, Macy's famous. So yeah, that, like, that's what we're gonna Okay, well, she so, didn't even question Do you feel like when I explained it well to the vlog, it was like... So, like, yeah, just, we yeah. wanted to, to call a clout chasey popular restaurant, and then them tell us there's no reservations available, so you need to start off yeah, with I the reservation for two, and then when they say we're booked, like, we want them to say we're booked, and then you go, oh, it's for Macy Thompson. <laughs> well, they weren't booked. No, they weren't. That oh, was no, but, no, that was need... perfect. That was perfect. But like that's our dream is for someone to say no we're booked and then yeah, we say oh, oh sorry I should oh, sorry. <laughs> catch LA <laughs> oh my god like no one does reservations online anymore LA uh Craig's hi I was looking to make a reservation for Saturday uh, I was thinking like seven seven yes at seven o'clock Six forty-five or seven fifteen. Uh, she's really only free at seven. Just go back. <laughs> Craig's must be really down bad on business. All these places. You need to say it for by the way, seven's early for LA, so say like eight thirty. Kevin, you're doing so good at this. No, you are doing so good. <laughs> Your brother? Yeah, you should call Jeremy and be like, we saw you running and like, because he's on a run right now. Okay, like, give me his number. Hey, maybe Tammy Franco. Like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, am I going to say? say? Say, this is the Boise Running Club and we just, we've, we, you got a ton of Oh, like we're scouting him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, this is Trevor. Hey, is this Trevor Thompson? Yeah. Great. This is Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Tabby, 
let me try again. Let me try again. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. <laughs> the Boise Running Club Scouter. Um, I actually saw you on Strava the other day, and I'm liking your results. <laughs> and I was wondering if you'd like to join the Boise Running Club. Yeah, I would love to join. Great. <laughs> so we would actually love to make you a pacer and president. How does that sound? A PP? Yes. <laughs> a pee pee. <laughs> and all it's gonna cost is three easy payments of $9.99 three times a week. How does that sound? <laughs> Sounds really good. Did you guys write a fucking script for this? No. Oh. No. <laughs> I just clearly have a last name. <laughs> if I had a script, I would have had a last name. <laughs> I almost threw out someone's name that I did know, but then I was like, if this goes public, she's gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> how'd, how'd you know how to answer this shit? <laughs> I just need, I said don't call on a, on a blocked number. Sorry to call you after work hours, we just thought we'd scout you for the Boise Running Club. Yeah, no, of course, when's the first run? Um, well, both my friends went on runs today, so I need to go on one tomorrow. Miss oh. I'm not gonna lie, it's Tuesday and I already got 12 miles in the week, so like... Oh, damn. Damn. Ken Kenzie ran really fast today. She's right here and she did a 10 minute mile today. <laughs> yeah, it was huge it was for me. Bus. It was huge. Not just one mile. Two. Two and a half. Let's go, mamas. Mwah. Oh, did you say I ran a 7.46? Why would you... Like, Trevor, I just wow. told you Kenzie's time and now you have to one up her. <laughs> that's kind of... That's like crazy. Sometimes this running life is not fair. I know. It's so true. And we always say that. That's huge. Lace up, let loose. You guys have a good night. See ya. <laughs> Bye, good night. 32 minutes of footage and yeah, not two calls. We but not so one it. successful one. One was my brother. And I took Thanks, it Trevor. <laughs> yeah. Everyone had openings. We wanted someone to say, no, we don't have openings. Oh, it's for Macy Thompson and see what they could do. Turns yeah, out the restaurant industry openings? not doing so hot. Because I don't know. I feel like I'm always struggling to hear reservations. The John and Benny's one, though, like, she had to believe that because. Yeah. What about Benny Hanna? We could try them. Is Benihana like nice? Yeah. Like I thought Benihana is like a chain. Yeah. It is, but it's like a nice chain. Like we could try. All right, I'm using my sleepy tie tonight. I know it looks insane. I bought this probably a year and a half ago, and I actually used it when I went to Europe. It worked. I just on it. I don't know. I just haven't used it in so long. It's time to test this out. Um. Okay. So I didn't do it correctly. So this isn't the vibe, but I, I wrapped it around this thing and then I tied it with the pink thing. So I don't know like what I did incorrectly. I watched the video four times. I did also order another one because I've seen people do it to where like the top and the bottom, they have two sleepy ties. Like even with this, I can tell it works and like normally would look better. I'm about to go on a three mile run and then weight lift. So I'm not necessarily Dying for my hair to look good. Good morning, y'all. Does it bother you that I am constantly vlogging from this spot in my kitchen? Just where I always am, honestly. I can try to switch it up, but I just don't know where I would go. Just made my coffee. I'm gonna chug this. Feeling extra puffy this morning. By the way, the new Emily Giffen book that I'm reading, I'm already like 70% of the way through. Just some ice rolling this morning. We have day two, which is technically week two, day two, of uh, my 10K planning. We're running a 5K, it's 3.1 miles. And then after that, I have weightlifting. Wouldn't it be crazy when I can run a 10K? Like, that would be crazy. All right, running my 5K, it's like only 80 something degrees out. This is heaven. Just left, I feel amazing. I want a cold punch so bad. myself seriously right now it's from Amazon it's a little large looks like I have like some sort of beak but honestly whatever forcing myself to lay out one hour a day and then I'm getting my like reading and stuff done there I'm really habit stacking right now okay I did all of my TikTok edits I still haven't even finished them from the sauna all right I was editing a bunch of vlogs I'm actually having a very productive day it wouldn't you wouldn't know though honestly 
Y'all, I actually cannot take myself seriously right now. Like the garden in the background, my visor, my protein smoothie. And then I'm gonna be here for an hour and then editing. So, it's so nice out. Like, maybe I am a summer girl if it's not 100 degrees. I'm sitting so Nick's, by the way. Uh, I have my visor in my Amazon storefront. I'm sure everyone dying to buy it. A smoothie is so good. now 2 p.m. I had an incredible hour, hour and a half outside reading and getting a tan. I got a little bit of a sunburn, which is really a step in the right direction. I finished the new Emily Giffen book, The Summer Pact. It's not a must read. Honestly, I feel like the story was really kind of all over the place. It was good. I finished it in like a day and a half because I've been laying out. It wasn't life-changing. It follows this group of four. One of them passes away in college is what I'll say. And they make this pact that if anyone is like down bad at certain points they'll all show up for each other and yeah i don't know i just like it was kind of all over the place and it goes like really kind of corny sometimes like you know when things sometimes books are like trying too hard it felt like it tried a little too hard but it wasn't bad like, like I, it was fine to read if that makes any sense i'm gonna edit for bed i'm gonna get comfortable and edit from bed for the next three hours and then tonight we have our festivities i changed I spent all day editing this vlog and I love how it is turning out potentially best vlog ever, honestly. We're on our way, I'm going to my dad's, it's my grandpa's birthday, and then after, we're going to Chili's. I'm very dressed up for Chili's, my outfit's actually really cute, I'll show you later. You, like, Macy's filming a TikTok. Close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> While we're here, here's my outfit, guys. Okay. So cute. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and look at it, okay. No, not the behind the scenes. <laughs> One, two, three. this is exactly what we're getting. If you get fajitas, we can make a TikTok about how you got them for attention. I don't think they sizzle that much here. Guys, we're at Chili's. I got my half tea, half lemonade mango drink. Tabby, I can't believe we got that. You did too, guys. Look at what the girls ordered. I don't know why I did it. If you guys are looking at this and you have a headache from a hangover, <laughs> me too. I already feel it. Do you want to try a sip? The craziest part is like the bottom right here. Like that's so when it's like you know yeah. it's gonna. No, I'm good. Oh, oh, the salt too. Yeah. She said gummy shark and I was it. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> that's what sold me. What if like they're out of the shark? <laughs> and then I'm returning it. I'm not gonna Oh, okay guys. If there's no gummy shark, there's no So gummy. I went to Europe for this occasion. Yeah. What a beautiful evening we had here at Chili's. Thank you so much. <gasps> wow. Sunset's so pretty. Macy, you didn't give the vlog a bag reveal. <gasps> I haven't even showed my friends. Oh, it's from Aspinall. It's a London brand. And it just means that I'm going to take better care of my things because it's not for me. Macy bought her first, like, nice big purchase. girl bag. Yeah. Yeah, it's very exciting. Okay, so it's so stunning. What a cute, perfect summer night at Chili's. All right, y'all, we're actually ending this vlog and we're gonna do basically a part two in next week's vlog because we still have two days. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was just getting very long. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.